back up and tell me about you guys. I mean, I know where you met, but where did you guys become friends? And in, in, was that in high school? Yeah, I mean, in high school, we, we sat beside each other in drafting class, and it was kind of funny because uh, he would he would sit there and draw race car pictures, and then he'd put my name above the door. And, uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. And, uh, I, it's, he, it uh, shocks me that you weren't in the in crowd. I mean, this is the – now, but it's all coming I'd together. I'd draw now. cars racing, and it'd be me and Rodney. We, I was, it, it, we were going to be <laughs> – Cup racers together. Got it. So he's basically yeah. doing paint schemes for the first I'm time. Trying to br- I'm trying to bring that to reality. Hey, a- as yeah. you would. So, okay, he, y'all are drawing. And what class is this? Drafting. Drafting class. Drafting. Got it. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. And so that's where you guys became friends because he's basically drawing your race cars. Yeah, I mean, I remember when um, he was first putting that, that first street stock together. And um, he told me one day at school, he's like, I'm going to take that thing over to Concord if you want to go with us. And, um, I'm like, yeah, I'll go. He's like, I'll pick you up. So, um, uh, <laughs> he shows up with that open trailer in front of my house with a street stock on it, which I had never seen it before then. But, um, uh, so I didn't help with that at all. But, um, you know, he showed up in front of my house and he comes walking down the driveway and he said, Hey, you got an air tank and an air gauge. I don't have one with me. <laughs> so of course I had that. So <laughs> I grabbed my air tank. He probably don't remember this. I do. I grabbed I grabbed my air tank and my air gauge and we went to Concord and, uh, he goes out there practicing for a while and it wasn't, uh, it wasn't long. We realized that the, the gears in the rear end weren't ever welded up and it was spinning one tire all the way down the straightaway. Oh, I believe. Um, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but I remember him talking about that, but, um, and then he went and run it a few more times. And I remember going over there and, uh, beating the doors out on it. Um, he he needed a volunteer to hold a big four by four piece of wood through the car up against the door while he hit it with a sledgehammer. Well, so. And this is still how you, this, this is how you beat out cars today, right? I mean, this is this is kind of how you do it, right? <laughs> is this where you get the idea? <laughs> it was it was fun though, but um, but yeah, I mean, you know, after that he got to racing a lot, and honestly, when I race, and I'm, I'll go back to me just being quiet and and all that kind of thing. I just raced and. Um, you know, I, I didn't ever hang out with anybody. I just wanted to race and, and that kind of thing. And that kind of separated us a little bit. But every time he would win a bush race, I'd still show up over there. It At was the always the, the Motown. <laughs> the Motown uh, uh, would have a little party every time he won a race. So I would show up over there. And and, uh, and then it'd be a couple time. of people that don't talk and that are shy. It's like a couple, no, of, a couple we, of mimes looking at each other, <laughs> t- looking up. at the race cars. You know what I remember? <laughs> You know what I remember about that day with the air tank is that we I busted the air tank. You remember that? Oh, you did. I don't. Well, it either it got to it either happened while we were at the track or rolling around in the bed of the pickup truck on the way home, but it not we knocked the top off of it and broke it. Oh, and I felt I so bad. You. I was like, damn, <laughs> he's got. I, we I ain't even got an air tank and a tire gauge, and I done broke his. Yeah. Yeah, we had some fun. But, uh, what was I the, remember? Go ahead. I remember you had, uh, I think it was a New Year's Eve party or something. This was back in the back garage. Yeah. Um, one time. And I remember walking in this, and you may not remember this one, but I walked in, and as soon as I walked in, you and Matt were standing there talking. And uh, as soon as I walked up, Matt's like, hey, and you said, hey. And, and uh, you looked straight over at Matt, and you said, Hey, dumbass! That's the that's the guy you should have put in that bush car. Oh. And, <laughs> wow! <laughs> and Matt's like, "Oh, I know, I know, I know." But uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Just did, another one of them stories where should have should have could have gotten yes. a bus ride. Did did you call Matthew? Did you call him for these notes? Uh, maybe. So okay. what what's yeah. the egging? <laughs> I don't remember that. Oh God, you don't remember no. that? No. So, uh, we hopped in your little S10 truck one night and you wanted to go to Kannapolis and you had a friend that lived in Kannapolis over near your grandma somewhere. Walter Monroe. Yeah. So you said, uh, we're going to go over there for a little while and we show up at your grandma's house. You want to stop at your grandma's house and you knock on the door and nobody's there. And you said, Oh, come on. I know how to get in. <laughs> well, we went through the back window. <laughs> of <your> grandma's house. <laughs> And we're sitting on the couch when she walks in the door. <laughs> I scared her to death. But uh, 
we sat over there at your grandma's for a little while and I got to meet her and all that. And then we went and picked up Walter and then we went cruising in the Concord mall parking lot <laughs> going round and round and round. <laughs> so, so there was these two girls walking down the sidewalk at the Concord mall. And, and, uh, of course we were like, you know, trying to talk to them and all this and that. Well, somehow we got both of them in this little S10 truck and there wasn't a whole lot of room in the no. S10 truck. So there were three guys and two girls in S10. <laughs> it's a single cab S10 pickup no, truck. I, yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> so, so this Walter guy, you know, he's got somebody, one sitting on his lap, one sitting on my lap. So we, uh, we drive around for a little while and finally we realized that this wasn't going nowhere and we pull back in the mall and we pull up the sidewalk. Well, this one girl gets out and then I get out to, to try to help the, you know, the, the rest of the party get out of the, the truck, I guess you could say. So, so this other girl gets out. Well, about that time you start taking off, like you're going to leave me and the doors hanging wide open and I'm kind of running beside the truck and hop in. And it wasn't like, 30 seconds later, blue lights pull up behind us oh. <laughs> and, and said, uh, the guy's like, you know, what, what were y'all doing? And he said, well, we were just dropping, uh, dropping them off. And he said, no, you weren't. You had the door hanging open, trying to get them in your truck. He had no clue what had really happened. But yeah. He was trying to blame, he was trying to blame us on something that really didn't happen. Do you happen, remember none of this? None of this. What kind of life of crime do you leave? Uh, <laughs> live that it's like, he remembers none of this. And uh, he wanted he wanted your license and registration or something like that. And you handed him your license, and he said, "Oh, y'all go ahead." And hand it right back to you. <laughs> oh, oh, come on! It is K Town. Wow. But we we ended up after that. We went to a grocery store. Oh no! And, uh, we all split up. We all split up the three of us. And I got like two cartons of eggs and you got two cartons of eggs and the other boy got two cartons of eggs and we all went to three different cash registers. <laughs> and then, this lady, she said, I'm just going to tell you right now, I know what's going on here. And if there's eggs on my car, I can remember your face. <laughs> <laughs> So oh. <laughs> we, we rode around and we didn't throw any eggs in anybody's cars, but we threw them at every stop sign and speed limit sign that we could come across <laughs> going down the road. But uh, we didn't tear up anything. Yeah. Golly. I cannot believe you I, don't remember anything. My cheeks are hurting so bad. <laughs> <laughs> we need Rodney just to come over here and tell us everything else that Dale Jr. doesn't remember about his life. <laughs> oh, my God. That is something. What is the chasing deer on dad's land? God, so man. we were we were over there beating them doors out on that street stop, and I had never been over there. And I was trying to look through the the, the little window in the bush shop at one point. And you're like, don't don't look over there. He said, like, if my dad sees you, he's gonna get pissed. And uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't your dad. You said if somebody else saw me, they'd be pissed. And uh, anyway, we beat the doors out for a while, and everybody had left. It was in the afternoon, and everybody had left the shop. And and you said uh, you want to ride back through there and see the land and i said yeah and so we we this is also in the little s10 so we made we started that big circle back through the land back yeah. through the property and we were coming back and, and about halfway back um there was deer everywhere and uh you're like this is gonna be good here and i said what and he said uh i'm gonna get out and you slide over here and put it in drive and when i tell you to go you haul ass so you you got out of the truck and you started walking up into the field a little bit and all of a sudden you said go and I, <laughs> I, I floored it well i floored it well next thing i know the deer are running straight at me and like jumping over the hood of this <laughs> s10 and i slammed on brakes <laughs> I slammed on brakes and stopped, and you're like, that was cool as hell, wasn't it? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> My God, that'll get you shot over there from what I heard. I mean, like, that, I, is that the pay, yeah. is, is that the people? Uh, is that the deer you want to be messing with? Not, not, a, not from what Daddy I heard. Daddy would have really been pissed off. Bro. Oh yeah, he would have. Oh man, he would have. He would have shot both of us. Did you ever meet Dad? <laughs> no, I honestly didn't. Damn. 